And until I'm satisfied that we've got the right strategy, I'm not going to be sending uh, some young man or woman over there uh, beyond what uh, we already have. Beyond what we already have. So the 68,000 Americans who are there now have to stay even if we don't have the right strategy? Last night, the Washington Post published to its website something that had been talked about for a long time in D.C., but so far had been kept secret. It's the top military commander's review of what we're doing in Afghanistan and what we ought to be doing. Conventional wisdom is that the report was leaked in order to push the president into doing something, presumably an escalation of some sort, sooner than he might have otherwise done it. The report by General Stanley McChrystal raises the possibility over and over and over and over again of a U.S. military failure in Afghanistan. Quote, failure to gain the initiative and reverse insurgent momentum in the near term risks an outcome where defeating the insurgency is no longer possible. Quote, resources will not win this war, but under-resourcing it could lose it. Quote, continued under-resourcing will likely cause failure. Quote, the insurgents cannot defeat us militarily, but we can defeat ourselves. Quote, any of these risks in turn are likely to result in mission failure. Over and over and over again, this leaked report raises the specter of failure, of defeat in Afghanistan. Even as it defines what's going on in Afghanistan right now as, quote, not a war in the conventional sense. So it's not a war, but a thing that's not a war that we can lose. Even though President Obama inherited this, whatever you choose to call it, from George W. Bush, no president wants to be the president who loses the not war in Afghanistan in its ninth year. Of course, no one quite understands what it would be to win this not war either, but fear of losing is perhaps politically stronger than the existential dread of doing something indefinitely that just can't be won. General McChrystal has not requested additional troops yet. It's expected that he will. But his report indicates that a strategic change is more important than more resources. He defines the ultimate goal of U.S. military operations as creating an Afghanistan in which, quote, the insurgency no longer threatens the viability of the state. To get there, he says U.S. forces must, quote, prioritize responsive and accountable governance. The current government is described in this report using phrases like incompetent officials, power brokers, and criminality. Also, quote, high-level abuse of power, low-level corruption, and bureaucratic incapacity. And while the goal of creating an Afghan government that is worthy of its people is both admirable and well-intentioned, we're all left to wonder, as, as the number of Americans in Afghanistan pursuing that very lofty goal has more than doubled just in the course of the last year, we're all left to wonder how exactly America can get the Afghans that awesome sounding government and how long it's expected to take and how much it'll cost. I'm not a crook.